Hello, Todd Bog here. We're breaking the stream, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Conquest of Elysium V, the challenge series. We're uh, in Inferno, as you might well be able to tell, um, or if you watched the last video, you should know. And so we're just working our way through and uh, eliminating as many of these stacks as we can to get the resources that we're getting from them. So uh, that's probably going to be our next target. Let me just make sure. This is my focused army here. So, yep. So let's go ahead and tackle that. Should be able to do pretty well against this. Hopefully the catapults will be able to kill this guy here. Do not want all that pyromancy in my face. Storm Demon would be a nice bonus as well, so we'll see. Uh, over here we've got just a uh, abandoned mine and an iron mine. And so this force is more than capable of knocking those out. So uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and knock out the iron mine first. And we'll keep working our way through. Again, gathering resources so that we can continue to build uh, the forces that we do need. Uh, we do have, the next one is at 750, so that's what we're waiting for. So, it'll be a little bit before we see 750. But in the meantime, we'll have some fights. Alright. Uh, yep. Yeah, that's just the bystander mod kicked in. Nice and easy there. Uh, let's see, that was here. Killed them all, no problems. Alright, let's see. Alright, Assassin did some work. Uh, what am I worried about here? Summon fire, that's going to be annoying. Still got the storm demon, but we'll see. Yeah, just the storm demon. And does the storm demon get to summon? Nope, he just cast thunder. So. for me. Alright. Uh, battle at Imp Watch. We did that. So perfect. And yeah. So we've got Imps don't have a ranged attack, right? So we don't have any way to defend against ranged, but that's alright. We're just putting Blood Sworn. I think more just to know if it's been taken at this point than anything. So this one's a little more dangerous. Um... Did we lose anybody? No. Okay. And we did get the Sword of Heroes. Uh, but this next one's a little more dangerous because of the number of Storm Demons again. A lot more of the uh, Demon Knights as well. But uh, what do you got? A Flame Spear. Okay. Not so useful against your own people, but it will be useful against mine. So, uh, But yeah, that's the next target. So let's go. And, yep, no uh, real debate here. We'll go this way. Uh, chill and enter. All right. All the spells. Pretty easy. All right, close keep. Speed up. So we lost uh, six Templar overall. Not the worst thing in the world, but uh, we did get uh, four magic items out of that. Ouch. I did. Wait, some of those... Oh, no, that was one of my guys. Okay. So that's fine. Uh, so, yeah, that was good. Uh, attacked in a farm. Yep. Meteor crashed into a fairy circle, leaving only a smoking crater. Heroes arrived at one of my villages. What are you wielding here. What cursed item do you have? The Heart of Life. Uh, not really great for us. Okay. Cool. You can just sentry up. Alright. So we've cut a swath through. Um, we did lose some Templar. That last fight with the Storm Demons is definitely problematic, but uh, um, I guess we'll do it again here. So what new magic item are we getting here? Chest full of fire. Oh my god. Okay, so that's really good because the fire and cold resistance. Fire shield uh, and, of course, 
it boosts pyromancy so we can give it to our pyromancer and he can cast all the spells but all right well let's see what we got down here towers galore so let's see that's a fairly weak tower but we definitely want to take it with our siege weapons thorn staff could be useful okay uh, this one here, oh, that was what we looked at. This one here is the half buried. That should be fair. Ooh, that's a lot of casters with Geomancy level one. Not that it'll matter much, but. Uh, and then we've got an iron mine. So iron is okay for us. Right now, we're just going to continue to buy those relics. So let's keep working our way through. All right. You're chill. We're going to take out the House of Lechery. Imp Watch, Fort Despair, The Closed Keep, Devil's Gate. Grossile, why are you not with the group? Did we do something weird with you or? I don't know. It's a bit strange, but all right, whatever. All right. <laughs> Pretty easy. So yeah, these guys are going to all have sort of earthy spells. Okay. So nice and easy there. Barbarian War Camp. And more Flagellants and Spearmen. Okay. So we'll attack the House of Letry next here. Um. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Um, oop, nope. Not what I wanted to know. Okay. I forgot that we did have some maps, so we're going to go ahead and get those into uh, circulation here to see what we see. All right. So we're going to zoom out, and uh, we're going to use the map of Inferno. All right. There's an actual city of sinners down here. So that's good. Nine prison fortress. So that's got uh, one of the big guys. The fort or curse is just an infernal. Oh, these are infernal towers. Okay. The citadel of Belphegor is an actual citadel. So that's what we're going to look for. And let's do the map of the Codicus. Obsidian prisons. There you go. Infernal citadel there. So, okay. So yeah, now we got some more mapping that we've done. That's good. All right. So, this force will take out this iron mine. I think. Oh, hey, the District of Sin. All right, so we found the enemy stronghold. Yeah, we can easily take this because there's no ranged attacks with the exception of these guys in the range of three. Um, this right here, though, this is the, the, the terrifying one. This has got Asmodeus, the Duke of Hell. Uh, he summons Succubus, so one to four of them, which will then try and charm us. He's got Hell's Reign, which is a single target stun. Um, so eh, it's just a melee attack. Okay. Uh, it's called Hell's Reign because of the weapon. Uh, let's see. Causes stun. It boosts his Infernal Magic, and it gives him an extra spell range. So his Infernal Magic is level four. High Arcana level three. Oof. That's a lot. Um... He's got Oblivion, which gives him an extra life. Uh, so I think he'll come back after he dies. I forget how that one works. It was a while since I played my Infernal playthrough. But uh, yeah, so this guy's pretty big. That's going to be a tough one. May have to figure out a different way to approach him. Oh, there it is, extra life. When he dies, he'll rise again with full hit points and continue the fight. Um, so yeah, we had to kill him twice. If we can get them in melee, we're in good shape, but considering they have enchanted gates, 70 hit points with armor 5 and a shock shield um, means we're going to kill ourselves trying to get through that. And that's a lot of storm demons. My gosh, that's a lot of storm demons. All right, so we'll have to figure out our best approach here. Um, don't think we want to take it right away. We'll have to debate how we want to handle that. 
maybe the blessings will uh, show us the way. Maybe L will uh, make it for us. So, all right, Bergmaster Folly, Bergmaster Folly, sorry. Iron Mine. House of Lechery. Let's see our catapults do their work. I've yet to kill a storm demon with these catapults, but. Alright, so. Yep, nice chest full of fires, perfect. Mott and Bailey. Alright. So you're going to go ahead and sentry up. All right, so demonic locusts are covering the ground between, huh? Yeah, so this is definitely not the guy I want to uh, fight against first. Why are you ethereal? Oh, are you just naturally ethereal? Okay. Oof. And I forget what these hands do. All right, um, so you're going to go ahead and uh, we'll drop some blood sworn on you, which won't do much against these guys, but mainly because that word's a sacrilege thing, but let's see, we can only move two, so let's go ahead and take these guys out. Half buried sinners there. So this we could take out fairly quickly. These two are going to be the the tough ones, only because that foul magic. Um, I feel confident we would be able to take that, but we would take some losses. Let's get this oven of sins going, because that is going to be useful. Um, nothing crazy there. Iron mine and gem deposit. So this place is filled with riches. We just have to uh, be cognizant that we're not getting the reinforcements that we want. All right. And abandoned mine. So didn't lose anybody as expected. Got a bunch of people that would be nice to have. Yeah, the cracking this. Hmm. I wish when we took towers we could get war machines. That would be helpful. Because then we could just throw a couple waves of war machines at them to soften them up. But at least they don't recruit. That is a plus. So, uh, so yes, with the Oven of Sins, you can basically take your sinners that we've collected. Which are somewhere back here. No, not in this group. I guess they're in the other group. Uh, but you can take your sinners, bring them over here, put them in the oven, and they turn into demons, which could be fun. Um, for the time being, though, let's uh, focus on... These are just regular imps, so yeah. We'll just we'll continue crushing, taking resources, and ho hopefully we'll figure out a solution here. Uh, oh, not Katarina. You can go ahead. Let's see, wake you up. We'll center you. Clarboon. One more round. We can bolster that devotion. Oh, hitting the wrong button. Now. All right. Nice and easy. Angels descended from the heavens. Uh, let us, let's see, let us skip through to Clareburn. Let's go ahead and bolster our devotion. Now we cause awe. Okay, so people will be less likely to attack us. That's an interesting one. Um, yeah, so need to get over to this infernal tower That's and to the city, of course, right? So let's work our way over that way. You can take out these guys, and maybe we'll uh, unbury some of the sinners, and we'll go from there. All right, you chill. You chill for the rest of it. 
I'll have to double check my blessing. I don't know if that makes me A plus 2 or not, so we'll see. Um, so we're just going to hit stats on this because this is an easy fight. Um, I'll let you view it, I guess, if you want to. So yeah, pretty easy there. Alright. So we're crashing into this. I forget. No, let's just crash in. We can figure out. Ooh, that's right. So this is Belial, the Lord of Corruption. Uh, so pre-battle, he does this mass corruption. It's a 1 to 9 versus morale. Um, and essentially, I believe it's a charm. Um... So against morale one to nine, that means he may be converting people over. So that might be something I will have to figure out a, a select force, maybe remove casters from it and uh, go to town that way. That might be my best chat, uh, bet there. Uh, otherwise, yeah, we got the storm demons, um, and then we've got the uh, disease demon here, uh, two of them here. So. Uh, not bad though, our catapults could do a pretty good number on them, so. Um, it's just that mass corruption. Because I believe you can crit off of that, so. Doesn't look like the enemy are moving, so that's good to see. Um, that means we're not seeing any. I thought the, uh, the demons did move in this world, but. Uh, we'll see what happens. All right, what I'm going to do now is, first of all, go all the way back. There's some sinners. Cool. Uh, we're going to just deselect a lot of these guys. don't think we need all of them right now, but... Uh, let's put them all in a group just in case. And basically what we're going to do is activate the location to get the sinners. Yeah, that's what I thought. Use up all your action points. Nope, nope. Activate. You'll eventually uh, run out, if I remember correctly. If not, fantastic, but I believe there is a chance of depleting the resource. I thought there was the last time I was in uh, Inferno. Alright, well, apologize. This has taken a while, and it looks like you. As I say it, that's exactly when it runs out. <laughs> okay, perfect. That's what I thought. So yeah, we uh, we did exhaust it, but now we can go to the Oven of Sins and uh, turn them into demons and see what happens. Uh, sometimes they listen to you. Most of the times they don't. Well, I guess as to say, more times than not, they do listen to you. But all right. <laughs> Still can't kill that storm demon with the catapults. Did get a thorn staff, and uh, yep. So the question would be, if I took the capitalium, would I be able to do recruiting there? What is this? Six watchers in the pit. So watchers have blood magic level three, silver arcana level two. They have an assassination, so if they attack you, you're in trouble. Um, and their touch of the fallen uh, paralyzes and. Um, is armor negating, so it causes paralyzation. Uh, they've got one armor, 149 hit points, and they're resistant to most uh, elemental damage of 50%. Poison as well, so. They're ritual casters. These guys look cool as hell, too. And it looks like there's different uh, varieties, right? So, um, Word of Corruption, Word of Corruption. I think those are all the same, though. Blood magic. Oh, this one does forest magic. Command magic. Iron arcana. Astrology. 
and gold arcana and everything else is pretty much the same so so these guys are pretty intense are they traveling that's what it looks like right so all right well let's take care of this might as well get ourselves the district of sin under our control give us a fortified location to build off of you guys come down here and let's go ahead and activate so uh, let me hit transfer on Charlemagne. Let's get all of them. We have 31 centers right now, so let's go ahead and... Yeah, sometimes you'll get the blood sworn. Um, and now we're down to 26 centers, so we're using 5 centers per... Mm, frost imps are... Or frost uh, demons are pretty good, but... Uh, what I want are casters like the Fiend of Darkness there. And that's where we fail to control it. So now we get to fight. Oh, they're not a caster. Sorry, I was thinking of something else. Uh, Frost Fiends are just 44 hit points, one armor. Uh, they got the ice protection. Really not useful in hell, but, uh, you know, it's something. I don't know if there's a chance to get a greater demon or anything out of that. I doubt it. Oh, yeah, succubus. Okay, so they're invisible, so I didn't see them. But um, luckily, they don't get to assassinate us. So my biggest problem is the gift of death uh, Yep, and plague. So they're going to cause this disease and uh, to wither. That hurt. 25 of our Templar, 8 archers, and 2 of our Paladin are dead. So, that sucks. Okay. So that totally was not worth it. Um, a damned merchant. Interesting. Okay. Uh, but Oh, they're guarding a pit. Interesting. So they're the guardians to Agartha, I think. Or maybe it goes to a different plane than I think. So, uh, so this one's got a cultist. And, yeah, otherwise... These are a little bit easier to take out. Again, the Plague Demon's problematic. Um, that really did put a, a dent in our numbers here. So we're going to have to switch around some regen. So Bloodstone Amulet there. So we're not going to be doing any big fights with these guys until, uh, until we get some healing done. Okay, who else has got... Well, that's not the amulet I'm thinking of. Alright. I think it's in the other army, isn't it? I thought we had two bloodstone amulets, if I remember correctly. So, let's go take a peek. Do, 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 do. Alright. Oh, we got two of the stone boar amulets. Uh, yep, there we go. Bloodstone amulet is on Durandal. Okay, so. Alright, basically we're transferring out the slow unit. And then, yeah, we're going to take you. And Durandal will transfer his amulet to one of the hurt Templar. Perfect. All right. And then Durandal. Let's just... Uh, head out and uh, we're going to do some more exploring here so so yeah that demonstrated the power of just like some minor demons holding a fortified location so 
I'm not sure how I feel about our uh, chances of taking all of hell with these forces, but we will see. We will see. All right, so we'll do some of that. In the meantime, uh, let's see. We can eliminate the gem deposit here. And we can check out the old battlefield as well. All right, Snakemire. Gem deposit. Okay. And now the old shuffle. Uh, let's see. You go to you. All right. Where is the rest of my amulets? There you go. You can shift over to you. You. We'll go back to you. All right. Okay. So yeah, we're going to leave you guys alone for now. Oof, so many demons. All right. Oven of Sins here. That's a pretty easy one to get to, but let's go ahead and just crush in. Grab the iron mine. You chill. All right. Celestial Lines and then the Iron Mine. Yeah. So for any of those small ones, I'm going to go ahead and skip the battles. Just because they're pretty much foregone conclusions. If we see something in the auto battle that catches our eye, then of course we'll, uh, we'll go back and view it. This one, of course, we'll want to watch. Because all the magic channels, if we decide to attack it. But that might give us a route back to... Elysium, which would be nice. But, uh... Alright, so stats. Yep, we killed more mushrooms. We killed those guys. Alright. Ooh, Death Keep. So this one's got a greater devil um, with infernal magic level 3. That can be very dangerous. Um, a bunch of hellhounds also can be dangerous, so... We'll have to uh, make sure we're uh, keeping an eye on that. Let's go ahead and switch around our regen items. So, yeah, we're not going to attack yet until we get uh, all of these guys healed up. Let's see. There you go. That's the other part. You go here. Works for me. Make sure, uh, let's see, bees afflictions, right? So those are still all the people afflicted chest wound there you go yeah disease so yeah we've got a ways to go unfortunately um. all right you just chill in there just because you can showing off your abilities i got it i got it all right uh, stats celestial lions killed some brigands magic lamp i would love the magic lamp air elementals are fun all right. You just seven sinners walking, walking the world. Uh, let's see. This is Ashfields. So let's go into here. Abandoned mine and Ashfields. Okay. Oh yeah, we got a transfer. I gotta remember this. Okay, and you to you. Perfect. All right, you're good. You're good. Two turns. We'll be uh, doing our next uh, update here. Oh, yeah. Ten flagellants. Okay, we're going to continue to explore. Ooh, some diamonds. That's good. Um, no reason not to crash there. It's a lot of demon knights. And, yep, yeah, next turn. Alright, stats. We killed them all. Boarhide armor. Okay, so let's go ahead and transfer. I guess I should hit B, huh? 
Okay, so. Doesn't look like anyone is suffering from disease because of our high resistance. Oops, nope, that's not. Does nothing. I wish it stacked. That would be kind of neat, but. Well, this would be pretty powerful, I guess. So you're being regen. We'll go ahead and give it to you. Uh, I should probably start saving my archers, huh? Yeah, let's do that real quick. We'll save the archers because. I don't have any other way to get ranged attackers. Alright. We'll start saving them first. Okay. Grab the gem deposit. What are you? Silver mine. Okay. I think we could do fairly well against you, but we'll uh we'll await. Oh, rock ground. There's a graveyard here for more things and this is just an ash field with this fun texture so let's take that first all right i guess we will set you to automatically come here and now we can go ahead and bolster devotion more hit points okay is going to be our most common buff. Alright, attacked in a market village, formless spawn, died to our flagellants. I'll let you view the battle just to see. It's the fire shield essentially that they killed themselves with. Harbingers descended, bishop, and a bunch of gold. Got it. Okay. So I apologize for the tedium here, but we obviously need to retain as many of our resources as possible. Otherwise, we are going to have a hard time possibly winning against some of these enemies. So, uh, let's see. We can take out nine centers on a gem deposit real easy. That should be a fairly easy fight too, but let's see. Ashfield and rock ground. Huh. They feel like they're just set pieces, right? So we'll continue moving. Chill. All right. Battle in the jungle. Is it because? Oh, it's because they have blessed. I was like. How did they kill it? Because they, they do uh, normal damage. Okay. Let me actually view. I guess I didn't really look at the... Yeah, they're just normal damage uh, traditionally. So if we were to hit play, let's just see what happens here. Creeping doom, creeping doom, creeping doom. Yep, so it killed itself. That's what I thought. All right. Okay. Get those switched. And get this switched. And where's my third? There it is. Get you switched. Awesome. All right. So... Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and call it here. Uh, I may take a few extra turns off camera uh, just to finish up with the regen fix for all my diseased troops. Um, again, because I can't afford to lose too many. Um, so we, we got to do what we can to ret retain. And then, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll continue exploring the map, power up and fight what we can, um, and then just be wary of a few uh, issues, obviously want to take the capital liam so maybe i'll debate about that and head back and do that so we'll see but as always if you enjoyed the video please like comment subscribe and i will catch you guys next time